download it. And just as the weather really heats up, Tucson diving into how to keep city pools open throughout the summer, but the city is running into some financial constraints. City officials say they're trying to provide more hours of pool time, but they can only stretch the budget so far. News for Tucson's Jafet Serrato joins us live from Mansfield Pool in Midtown after speaking to a council member who was unhappy about the limited hours the city plans to offer those just trying to stay cool. Jafet. Sean and Monica, Tucson City pools, which are free, are a great source of relief for many Tucsonans trying to beat the summer heat. When City Council member Paul Cunningham heard at the Parks and Rec Department planned to reduce pool hours, that didn't go over well. But the department did a deep dive, and tonight we have some good news. Making a splash at Himmel Pool is Gwyneth Smith and her child's favorite way to stay cool in Tucson's heat. It's a great asset, especially we live really close by. Tucson City Council member Paul Cunningham thinks so too. He was shocked to learn during a city council meeting last month that the Parks and Rec Department planned to reduce the number of hours city pools would be available. Here's my issue. I want to know how I'm supposed to trust the judgment of the Parks Department on aquatics when they didn't inform us this in the first place. Last year, the pools were open for 800 hours during June and July, costing an estimated $200,000. To manage costs, Parks and Rec initially created a plan to reduce pool hours from 800 hours to 500 over the summer of 2024. Since then, a compromise has been reached by stretching the budget. We're up to over 600 hours at this point with another 50 or 60 I think we, we can add later in the summer as some of the construction projects end. Restoring some of the pool's hours came down to which were used the most. We went back to the drawing board. One of the higher usage pools in my ward was Palo Verde Park Pool. Swimmers like Gwyneth Smith are happy to hear some of the hours come back and has some advice for the city on how to get more people at the less used pools. So I sort of get the impression people don't know that it's reopened and that it's staffed and I wonder if the city could do anything to help just advertise better that the pool is open. Currently, construction projects at some of the pools are hampering, are hampering efforts to open the pool uh, longer. Uh, every city pool has its own schedule, but the goal this year is to keep them open for longer hours to help Tucsonans stay cool. Live in Midtown, Jafet News for Tucson. Thank you, Jafet. An investigation.